Hi guys, in this video I'm going to give a quick explanation what fly-by-wire is. Now in a classical mechanical system you would have let's say an accelerator and that is connected via links to the throttle itself and this by pressing on an accelerator I can control that throttle and basically how fast my vehicle is moving and everything is taking place via those linkages. So I have a basically a, a, a tactile, if you wish, a tactile physical contact to the throttle. Same thing, let's say, with brakes. I press on a brake pedal and uh, via a hydraulic connection, I can then uh, actuate the brakes on my vehicle and thus control uh, the, the deceleration or, or the stopping power of that vehicle. And again here, I have basically a, some sort of a tactile or physical contact to my brakes in this in this instance via that hydraulic fluid now with fly-by-wire everything changes because in a fly-by-wire system I'm not communicating directly to that to those mechanical systems anymore but I'm but I'm communicating via the pedals be it accelerator or brake pedal I'm communicating to a computer and that computer sends signals to an actuator and then that actuator uh, activates those physical uh, assistance be it a, a throttle or a brake or whatever and the way the computer uh, communicates to those actuators is by uh, an electric wire and hence the name fly by wire so basically there is no more a physical connection between me as a driver or pilot and the systems I'm trying to control so what are the advantages well, the, the first advantage is obviously weight because I don't have, uh, for instance, if this is a brake, that actuator is near the brakes. There is no need for any hydraulic piping going from my brake pedal to the individual brakes. Uh, same thing is with, uh, with the, the linkages to the throttle. I don't need any more of that because all I need between my uh, my my computer basically and the uh, and, uh, uh, throttle is basically an electric wire which is way lighter than any link linkages and um, a second advantage of uh, fly-by-wire is basically that you can have an, an automatic I'm just gonna put it here you can also have automatic or auto input to the vehicle for instance, I'll give you an example. Uh, modern fighter airplanes are designed to be unstable. So basically, you as a human being could not possibly fly that plane because it's so unstable. It is, it is designed as unstable because it is designed to be very efficient. And basically, because it's unstable, it continuously requires various inputs to keep it stable and there's no way a person can be so fast and input those uh, uh, changes for the plane to remain stable that's where an autopilot comes in and it uh, stabilizes that system I give you a good example for instance the that that bomber B2 that all-wing bomber for instance this is a very unstable design all-wing design is very unstable and that needs hundreds of corrections maybe per second or per minute I don't know but those hundreds of connections are impossible to be uh, conducted by human being and there a computer here auto input would do these corrections put them in a the computer and that computer again via wires uh, would activate the right actuators to keep that system stable going to cars you would have you could possibly have the same thing if I press on the accelerator let's say I press too much on an accelerator to induce wheel spin the computer could um, uh, uh, judge that oh wait a minute if I send that signal to the wire to the to the throttle that could induce a wheel spin so I'm gonna reduce the signal I'm gonna send to that actu actuator you see so the computer then can basically control the physical system despite me having pressed the pedal uh, you know like full to the full same thing with brakes 
You know, instead of an EBS system, the, the computer here in a fly-by-wire system could basically control how much the brakes are pressed in order to uh, avoid uh, the wheels blocking while braking. So that's that's the second advantage of, of fly-by-wire. So basically one of them is like auto input and the second one is uh, obviously the, the, the reduced weight of a fly-by-wire system vis-a-vis uh, a normal mechanical system and in most instances let's say uh, airplanes you would have multiple such systems which are redundant so basically if this computer fails there would be another computer taken over uh, controlling the individual actuators but basically as far as I know all modern um, uh, airplanes are basically fly by wire and they and, and I know for a fact that most uh, modern fighter planes could not operate in any other system other than fly-by-wire because they're so unstable.